Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at the newest sector of the market that is taking the RV industry by storm. These are the new camp teardrop travel trailers. And because they're so small, we're gonna take a look at all of them. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Towables. It's the world's only channel giving you the true unbiased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, toy haulers, and fifth wheels, and now teardrops. And again today, I'm super excited to be taking a look at the fastest growing sector in the RV market, the teardrop category with New Camp and uh, with me, we have a salesman from the General RV Ohio store. This is Colton. Hey, I'm Colton. How's it going? It's going great. It's going great. We've been itching to get these uh, new camp teardrop travel trailers in for a long time. We're really excited to have them here. Grateful people who are looking for something small, lightweight, want to get up off the beaten path a little bit. Uh, so it's really great for that segment. Awesome. And, and you worked for New Camp, right? Yeah, I worked there for about the last four years as a product rep. So I, I sold these all over the country. Really uh, familiar and knowledgeable with them. So I would call him an expert. I'm really going to let him take away this show. Uh, we're going to have all Colton's information down in the description below. And if you come to the Ohio store, that's the number one New Camp dealership is it in the country or uh, definitely one of them, up yep, there? Yep. So we're the closest to the factory too. We're roughly 35 minutes down 77. Uh, so we're real close uh, to the factory. Nice, take it away. Let's start with this product here. Now we, we did do a TAP 400 video and it hasn't. It will be published by the time this video is going out. So uh, we had some questions first. What are these? Yeah, so those are grab handles. Uh, moving them around your campsite, driveway, things like that. Because they're so small and lightweight, you're able to have some maneuverability by hand. Okay, nice. and it's, it's one piece fiberglass or what? what? So one piece seamless aluminum roof. The okay. side wall is fiberglass. They use ASDO, which is a foam composite. So you're lighter, you're sturdier, you don't have to worry about rot, mold, D-lamp, all that stuff you don't want to have to deal with. Um, Going to help keep the weight down, give you better insulation, all that stuff. Keep on going. We're unscripted, folks. Keep on going. <laughs> yeah, so the windows are a nice talking feature on these. These are dual pane acrylic windows. So they're really well insulated. They're big, they're thick. Uh, they're, they're not going to scratch anything like that. Uh, so in here you have all these windows which open up all the way. They have these screens or shades on all the windows, also this front door here. So this will allow in your natural light, your natural air, keep the bugs out. Again, all that stuff you don't want to deal with when you're camping. Little bit of outside storage. Now why are you guys why why were you guys using these styles of doors? And and why is something so small so expensive? Yeah, so the style of doors. Uh, they, they hold up a little bit better. They don't get water in them like they were seeing with some of that other stuff. Uh, people do always ask about price on these campers. Anytime yes. I was at a trade show, people were comparing them to everything else out on the market. The reason, the main reasons why are because they're not mass produced. A lot of these manufacturers are cranking out tens of thousands of campers every year. These guys build maybe 1,000 campers every year. Oh wow. So they're focusing on quality, on innovation. They're using different parts and components from the rest of the manufacturers out there. For example, they imported a uh, heating system called the Aldi Heat System from Germany. It's a radiant heat system, works just like baseboard heat in your homes, things like yep. that. Yep. So it's gonna give you constant, silent, natural heat versus your uh, forced air or your traditional forced air heater. Nice. That that was probably that thing on the probably, other side Probably, yeah. Yep. So this right here is the key to rail. So aftermarket accessories are really endless for all these teardrop campers. Really be able to make it your own. So this piece of rubber trim pulls out right here. Oh, wow. And there's several uh, tents, uh, screen rooms, awnings, you name it. Uh, I always tell people it's like having a slide out on your camper without having to worry about the mechanical nonsense or the weight that comes along with that stuff. That's awesome. pretty cool. So people with pets or small kids, uh, or if you just want some shade on the beach, uh, more than capable of doing that also. Cool. On the back, you have the beautiful, again, dual pane acrylic window. Uh, so you get a nice star stargazer window at night. On this side, again, you have your uh, water management system here, which we're starting to see a lot more of these Nautilus panels and more and more campers coming in. Uh, exhaust for your Aldi system and 30 amp service. 
And is this the Audi app system? No, sir. This oh. is a vent for your AC. So this is a cool cat AC system. So they have ducted AC inside. Um, so you're going to get constant air circulation. You don't have uh, the extended height with your traditional roof mount style air conditioner. Uh, also, there is a heat strip um, in this air conditioner as well. So it does heat, uh, take your chill off late nights, early mornings, things like that. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Um, you want to go you, inside of this or Or did you want to down? go to the just other Just do one. all the outsides and yeah. then... Yeah, so on the Tag XL, the construction is the exact same. The thing that I really like about these is this front window literally opens up all the way. Wow. wow. So you get a really beautiful view inside. And again, you have those shades and those blinds uh, for privacy or for uh, air circulation. So this is the Tag XL, which means it's a foot wider than the uh, standard Tag. So you get a king size mattress inside, and you also get a microwave in the back hatch versus the standard five wide Tag. Wow. So you get a, a Yeti cooler, which you don't need to worry about battery or running it on propane or anything. Those Yetis will last, you know, a good weekend if needed. You get your microwave and then some storage on the outside also. Wow. This is all real hardwood cabinetry also. It's real birch cabinetry. Cool. You want to check out the inside? Inside of these tags, you have an air conditioner right up front. You also have a 110 heater next to that uh, air conditioner back there. Very simple. This just a uh, this pretty just like a bed and a kitchen and everything. Kitchen a lot of on sportsmen, people who fish, hunt, things like that. There's a uh, storage underneath the bedding for let's say some rods, um, things like that. How heavy are these about? Yep, you're right around 1,200 pounds. So many vehicles can pull them. You don't have to worry about upgrading your vehicle. Also, you're relatively fuel efficient when you start getting this light with campers also. And you can park these in garages. Garageable, you can pull them anywhere. Um, I'm not a big strong guy by any means, but I can pull this. Well, is <laughs> Pull up what? Go, forward? just lift it up. Oh, that's easy. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't let it roll. Jeez. I'm not. Nice. Cool. It's a really small, real lightweight. Again, easy to pull, easy to tow. A lot of single couples pull these. Um, uh, big demographic. Do we have a regular tag? That's this right here, these, isn't it? These are, these are all tag XLs oh. that we carry. That tend to be uh, what people seem to want. Right, it's kind of like what's a thousand pounds to 1200 pounds. Exactly, exactly. You get the bigger sleeping space, you get the microwave with the XL, um, and it's a foot wider, so why not? Right. Okay, so these are the only two, so all four of these are the same? Yes. Nice. Very cool. Let's check out the inside then of this one. Now, tell me about this door. It's like an aircraft style door. Yeah, so different door, uh, very European, so you have some extra storage, uh, trash can, wine bottle holder, you name it. Also, you have some privacy on the door window there as well. But it's not just wasted space. They really try and utilize every square inch for storage, gear, you name it. Perfect. And anything special on the inside? Yeah, inside. I'll stay outside. Okay. Inside this table will go straight down. So you can have this as a sofa or an extra sleeping space. Oh. Also, you have a separate sleeping and dining area in here. Um, again, the cabinetry is all real hardwood, birch cabinetry. You have your Cool Cat AC, which also acts as a heater for you. Then you have your microwave up top. Nice. Very and you nice. Said this cabinetry is all wood as well. Yep, all real hardwood. Wow. Very cool. So, uh, so yeah, you also sell the competition here at yep. this dealership as well. Yeah. So we also stock on carry all the little guy trailers, uh, the Max, the Mini Max. We just started getting their My Pods in. Um, and frankly, we can't keep those in stock long enough. I'd love to show you guys them, but we just don't have any. We did see a MyPod. Um, yep. We, we did get a review in the other day. But how many dealerships do you know of that actually sold both in one spot? Um, not many. Um, dealers tend to, you know, go one way or the other, but we try and carry everything that we can here. Perfect. I mean, we want to give customers, uh, you know, seeing the best of both worlds. Perfect. So if, if you're in Ohio or close to it, and you really are in the market for a teardrop trailer, give Colton a call. I will have his email down below. Do you have like a cell phone you want to give down below? Or yeah, just... absolutely. Yep. What's your cell phone? 330 231 
1-800-242-1234. Also down in the description below, give him a call. Schedule an appointment here at General RV in Ocala. Uh, not Ocala. <laughs> North Canton, Ohio. North Canton, Ohio. And I appreciate uh, yeah, you being on the show. And, and it's just one of those things where, you know, I feel like me and Will, we, we know a lot. But when we don't know, we at least will we'll find somebody who does. And right. That's so cool how he worked for the factory. Yeah. And now he could have worked at any uh, dealership, folks, and he picked General RV. So that's pretty cool. Thanks so much. Make sure you guys give him a call. If you guys have any questions about this, leave down in the comments below. Send him an email. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And we'll, we'll see you next time. time.